Good morning, everyone. I am Mr. Ish. I hope you are all having a great morning. Sometimes I forget that this video channel is not just only about calculus, that I should at times present something trigonometry or pre-calculus related. And here is something with regards to that. We have y equals sine to the 4x plus cosine to the 4x. These are exponent 4s. We just have to simplify this using any means necessary and there could be multiple ways of doing it. If you were given this expression over here and you were asked to simplify it, what would be the route you would take? Allow me to show you the route that I would take and that would be the substance of this video. I would be thinking about a power reducing formula where I know sine square x and cosine square x can be reduced by means of that power reducing formula. And that's exactly what I have. I'm just removing this y equals part because I know y equals everything that I'm going to show you over here. I know the sine square x in terms of the power reducing is 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. And then you have a square over here sitting outside. And then the cosine square x by means of the power reducing is 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. And you square that. Now you have to just open this up. Now the problem is when you open things up, errors can occur. So you have to be careful when you're expanding things out. You will have here in the numerator one plus cosine square two x minus, you know you have a one minus cosine two x times one minus cosine two x, you'll have a two cosine two x. This is all over a four. And likewise over here, you just have to expand this out, but you have to do it carefully. You'll have a one plus cosine square two x plus two cosine two x all over a four. Now you know everything here is under a common denominator of four so you can combine everything so let's do it but things can cancel out. When you're looking over here you have a minus two cosine two x and here you have a two cosine two x they would cancel out and then you have a one and a one you can combine that then you'll have a cosine square two x and a cosine square two x you can combine that you'll have a two cosine square two x everything here under a four but you can simplify this because everything here is a multiple of a two we can, for clarity reasons, bring this like this. So we're really looking at a one plus cosine square two x over two, and that's what we're looking at. Now you gotta remember you have a item here to the exponent two, which looks very much something like that in terms of a item which can be hit by the power reducing formula, and we can do that. When I'm looking at just this part alone, I can do the power reducing right here on the cosine square component. I would have a one plus and then I would have a one plus cosine, now four x over two, all over two. This part right over here became this part right over here in the parentheses. You have to be careful here. You have a two x, so when you expand it out, it becomes a four x. That's an error which some students can make and then it can throw everything off. That right there is the correct version over there. Now do a common denominator here in the numerator. You have a one over one you'll have a two plus one plus cosine four x all over two, all over two. You combine everything here, you have a three plus cosine four x all over four and that right there would be your simplified expression from there. If you were to graph this out and then you graph this out, the graph should be identical because these both represent two different ways of expressing the same function in essence is what I'm trying to say. This function and this function are equivalent. Graphing them out, you can do that on a software. You'll see that they will be identical graphs. And this right here, everything accomplished through the power reducing formula. Remember sine square x generates this. Cosine square x generates that. The only difference here is you have a minus. Here you have a positive and then be very careful with something like this. When you're using the power reducing here, you have to just be very careful. You're not looking at a cosine square x. As you see right over here, you're looking at a cosine square two x. So that two over here doubles and you get a four x over there. And that right there is our final answer. I'm confident it's good. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.